Mistral has launched two new models, but one of them was just a footnote. The other model is the big headline. In this video, we're going to learn about the new model, which is Pixel. We're going to compare it with Google Gemini's Vision because that's a model that I usually love for vision capability. This is a new model called Pixel Large. If you know that Pixel has been a model that has been available for quite some time, and this is the largest size of the Pixel model. So it's a 124 billion parameter model, out of which 123 billion is a multimodal decoder, and 1 billion parameter model is a vision encoder model. So this is a 124 billion open weights model. The reason it is open weights is because this is a model that is available for you to use commercially, uh, not free. Commercially, you have to pay for it, but for personal use and educational use, you can use it for free. So you can go ahead and download the model. And uh, the only catch here is that you have to fill in the form. This is something that Stability started. Now, almost every company is doing, I think like Hugging Fish should make it like a point that uh, anytime you just like something, you're going to share your lead detail to them. I don't know. I don't know what is the point of this, but uh, maybe some kind of regulatory thing. Having said that, so you can go here and then see uh, about this model. The model is pretty good according to the benchmarks. There's been only one complaint that I heard, which is uh, not about the model in itself. The fact that Mistral refused or maybe like practically they just like missed it. Um, we don't know what is the reason, but Mistral did not compare their model with the 72 billion parameter model from Quen 2 VL. Some people are claiming that Quen 2 VL actually beats Miss Pixel 124 billion parameter model. And some people are like, no, it's not. So because primarily the benchmark MMMU, which is highly volatile based on, you know, how you prompt it. So we do not know exactly for sure. But if you go by the numbers that Quen 2 VL 72 billion reported, then uh, Pixel is not better than that model. But if like there are like some people in the thread saying that they tested the model and the model is not as good as what they reported. Anyways, if you just keep it as a standalone model, like leaving Quen and China aside, then you have got a good model. So the model itself is, um, is like I said, 124 billion parameter model. It comes with 128,000 context window, which is very interesting to be honest. It's a multimodal model. It comes with 128,000 context window. So it should fit a 30 high resolution images, only 30 frames per second. So one second of that one minute could fit in this context window. I think that is exactly where Gemini is excelling because you can upload like a full long video and then ask for insight. But I think in this case, having that 128,000 context window, not like millions, but even 128,000 would help you. This model, basically they've taken the Mr. Large 2, which is their uh, frontier large language model. And they've expanded it with the vision capability to make it like a vision language model. And that is exactly why the model is supposedly good. The model is also good across all the benchmarks. If you compare it with the closed source solutions like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, Gemini 1.5 Pro and uh, Llama 3.2 90 billion parameter model across all these models, like if you compare it with all these models, this is pretty good model for a lot of different benchmarks. And that is kind of what we are going to try and then compare it with our practical examples that we want to do. So another important thing here is that this is an open weight model. You can use the model. I'm not sure how easy or difficult it is going to be fine tuning this model and what kind of licenses that it might bring in. But this is an open weight model. So you can use it with the different things like for OS here, you can do it especially given that this is a multilingual model, you can use it for multilingual OS here. So they've got a receipt, which is in German, I guess, like given the given the uh, letter, so it does a well, pretty well uh, in the language. You can uh, upload a chart and then ask for an understanding. I think this is a weights and bias chart for anybody who has uh, trained a machine learning model and probably used weights and biases, you would know that this is absolutely something that everybody loves to use and loves to see. And uh, it, yeah, it can understand brands as well. So you can see there is BNP Paribas, um, Paribas, BNP Paribas, Brave, Cloudflare, CMH, CGM, I don't know the brand, Front, Front, I don't know. So all these models are available. All these um, features are available, which we are going to test very briefly. The second model that they launched today is uh, the Mix Mr. La Large model. So this this is this has got an update, but uh, yeah, not a lot of information. The new model is better in long context understanding, um, better function calling. It's like it's it's like iPhone five s. Like instead of five, you have got just five s. So, uh, but Pixel is quite exciting. So what we're going to do right now is we're going to head 
to the platform which is called Lee Chat or Lee Chat, and I'm going to go also to my uh, Google Gemini, and we're going to ask a bunch of questions and then see how the model does. So very simple thing that I want to try is something from their own example, and uh, I'm going to just take a screenshot of this and ask it to create a tweet based on this. So paste this, create a simple tweet based on this, and I'm going to do the same thing here. Create, create, create a simple tweet based on this. Okay. I don't know, somehow always like Google's interface is kind of a thing. Exciting results from the MMMT bench, which is what exactly is. Uh, and they've used GPT-4 as a judge. Palm 2 large leads, seriously. Wait, um, what? <laughs> this is a, this is funny. You know why? Because there is no Palm 2 model here, first of all, okay? Uh, let's be honest. And the model that actually leads the pack is their own model, which is a pixel large, okay? And their own model tells me that Palm 2 large leads the pack with a top rating of eight, closely followed by Claude 3.5 Sonnet and uh, Gemini 1.5 Pro. GPT-4 V and uh, Llama 2 70 billion also show uh, strong progress. Future of AI is uh, bright and then the progress but why palm too large? Is it like because I took a screenshot? <laughs> this is, I mean, like you don't have to be self-obsessed, but like you want to replace your model with Google's old palm two model. That's like a lot of humility. Okay, Google does a better job. Uh, Pixel large wins on MMMT, uh, MM, MMMT bench according to GPT-4. Oh, see how other models are like Claude, Llama, Gemini stack up and uh, it gives me the link to image blog post kind of thing. Okay, cool. Um, last time when I did test, a lot of people suggested me that I should uh, clear up my um, context every time. So I'm going, to, I'm going to do that same thing. So I'm going to clear up my context. Now that we have uh, tested officially something from the own, um, uh, the blog post that they've got, time to test one more thing from them. So I'm going to take this table in this case and uh, I'm going to ask it to write five insights, okay? So give me five insights from this. I think it's got a good table understanding. Um, that's my understanding. That's my understanding. Um, give me five insights from this. Oof. Okay, Google, sorry. Um, the speed is really good. Um, I don't know how they're hosting it. Uh, I guess probably there is some kind of VLLM going on behind it. So five insights there from the provider table. So performance variability across benchmark measured versus reported score. Um, there are discrepancy close versus open models, a specialization and task, overall top performance. It says overall top performer GPT-40, Claude 3.5 Sonnet are among the top performer. Okay, that's very interesting to see. And what about Pixel? Does it mention anything about Pixel? Yeah, it doesn't it doesn't give me anything about Pixel to be honest here. Um, yeah, so there is Pixel Large here, but other than that, okay. For example, Pixel Large scores ninety three point three on Doc VQA, indicating a strong capability. Okay, there are two instances where it actually talks about Pixel. So let's go back to Google and then see five inst insights. Pixel Large leads in overall performance. Let's go back to this chart and then verify it. So Pixel Large leads in overall performance. Why? Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So out of seven benchmarks, we have got four. One, two, three, four. So out of seven, four benchmarks, Pixel actually leads. So I think it's naturally good to see that Google, once again, um, doing the right job here, Pixel, um, not so much, not so much because it says that, um, it, yeah, it does. It, it says like GPT-40 and Claude 3.5 Sonnet generally show higher performance across benchmarks. And, uh, that's not the case. Like if you go to GPT-40, it leads in only one benchmark. If you go to Claude 3.5 Sonnet, it leads in only other benchmarks. So once again, I'm not like, honestly, like I cannot rely on this kind of a measurement from pixel and, um, yeah, so the chart understanding is gone. The table understanding is gone. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to do my classical test. So which is, uh, I'm going to do my, uh, 
So the next thing that I'm going to do is my classical test, which is I'm going to take Apple count and we are going to ask about it. So I'm going to take one of these images. Where, where is my Apple? Oh, hmm. Okay. Apples probably is that oh, better search? I'm going to, yeah, this is what I'm going to look. Um, I'm going to copy this image, come back here and uh, I'm going to, once again, I have to reset the context. Okay, cool. Paste it. What's this? That's all I'm going to ask. Like, I'm not even going to ask the count. I'm going to go back here, reset the context, paste it here. What's this? So here we are not testing the OCR capability. The last two instances, we are trying to understand the chart, um, how good it can do OCR. Um, and here it's just simply like object detection. So the image shows a collection of apples that are both green and red apples, which appear to be fresh and have droplets on them. Do we have droplets? Okay, cool. We have droplets suggesting that they have been recently washed. A very nice insight, to be honest. Let me know what you feel about Pixel. You can go to the Lee chat platform and then practice with Pixel. You can also go to Hugging Face and then download the model and then start using the model after you share your contact information for God knows whatever reason it is. But this is a good release. I'm happier that this release has happened. We need more open weights model irrespective of their license. At the end of the day, as a company, they have to make money. Let me know what do you feel about this new release uh, and the new direction from Mixtral Mistral as a company with the model Pixel. See you in another video. Happy prompting.